Hello my lovely and underrated witches, I'm the powerful and iconic merciless underscore witch, and in today's video do we have to talk about on why you, as, as my, my fellow, fellow and underrated, underrated witch, witch, need to play a bit more as a killer because of reasons which I'm going to name you in the next few minutes, and that I had a bit enough of deleting toxic and sad survivor mains comments since I didn't play too well enough for them. This and that I like to see more killer gameplay videos, since dead by daylight content got recently so boring for me, ha ha ha. But before we're starting with the video do I wanted to thank Alejandro 2023 as my first and only channel member for supporting my YouTube career here, and if you are also interested into supporting my iconic YouTube career and want to be here too, do I have a support page where you can access then also to cool custom made icon packs and other cool perks. With nothing else to say, is this why you should play more as a killer and on why the hell you would even love the game more? I think every one of us to know a sudden situation where you don't understand on how the killer player, as you are playing against as, did find you in a locker even if you didn't left any scratch marks, and don't moan through the whole fucking map, and you are going to start randomly crying and screaming like James Charles because he found you in that locker, and that this killer is definitely using wall hacks because anything else couldn't it be that sad little bastard or that he is stream sniping you since you are so important with your two twitch viewers at maximum to get you mad or that one other situation where you are randomly exposed and you are getting snatched of the generator and that you started to scream confusingly since this is how a pokemon would react to followed by raging and breaking your face cam in the while you don't hit the, the half of the skill checks again since you decided to destroy this killer, killer whole career, career and, and life on steam while he is bringing you to a hook since this is so unfair and he deserves that because, because he, is he is such, such a, a hacker. hacker but what if i told you that you, yes you my fellow confused Pokemon, could have survived those two situations, and even better, saved you getting exposed from three Karens on YouTube since they don't have anything else to do in their lives. Well let me introducing you to that one, stupid and definitely not trolling, and very iconic product which could have saved you called, Sadie Way Cheats where you can get cheats for Dead by Daylight for only 36 euros a month. Since you're such a sad person that you need hacks. Who needs skill or worse, learning how perks or killer abilities are working if you just can buy an insta-dead hard, a stupid monkey picture, instant recovery from the dying state, a small wiener, and totally useless garbage from a piece of shit. So get your hacks today under, what the fuck are you mad or why the fuck do you want to buy hacks.com? Because this is the only truly iconic way to get scammed from an idiot and get a shitty, worthless NFT on top of it. Terms and conditions applied. Please don't use that sad and pathetic software since this is literally what only sad persons do and that was only just a joke since I like jokes for videos which no one is even going to watch about. Also stand merciless underscore rich because she wants to reach the 1000 followers in a few weeks. Stay merciless, stay cupcack, stay me. Sorry, what I originally did mean was playing as a killer to get to know the perks, add-ons and their abilities since it would've been your job then to get the four survivors faster dead than there can confusingly scream in a camera since it would've been you to make them mad, and trust me, as a fellow old survivor main itself, do, do I, know I know what a what struggle, struggle it is? is? If you would've known on how it feels like to play as an struggling old creepy Karen, which doesn't get her stuff done, if she plays by the old and pretty much outdated survivor book of stupidity, and you would've know the effects from sudden perks, and add-ons effect if you decide to play as a and toxic survivor Karen again, which also helps you in the longer run to survive as a survivor. Since you know how you go the sudden survivors down when you played as a killer. So you pretty much have to become the killer to play better against the killer, if you know what I mean. So what else do you want more? You get basically variety from playing just as a killer, you learn their weaknesses, and they aren't going to turn you into confusing screaming Pokemons, which are ready to attack everyone in the stream, and it also helps you to play better as a survivor since you avoid those mistakes which you originally did as an only survivor main because you have the experience as the killer. But wait, there, there is, is maybe a reason, reason on why you don't, don't want, want to switch, switch, and I can definitely tell on why some of you probably wouldn't because of this next act. Ow yeah, we're going to talk about the nasty endgame chat problem which is putting you, my lovely and underrated witch, in one of those cold-hearted and completely disposable exposed videos from one of those guys. If you're going to start playing as a killer, will you also experience this, half-hearted, triggered and completely ignorant people which are going to cry their little confused asses off on why you didn't play it on the way, they wanted you to play as a killer aka something which you, yes you, are doing probably 24-7 since it is so easy to put your lucid into others shoes and trust me, all of us needed the 
lesson. Even me needed it a few years ago. Killer players are getting trashed and cried about 24-7 on the clock while the people are forgetting that without those players, would be nothing running here. If you are going to start playing as a killer, will it not just teach you on why survivors can be stronger than killers a lot of times? Trust me. The killer mains are probably knowing what I mean when I just say what proof thyself a pain in the ass is with a survive with friends, and it will also show you as a fully blood rushed survivor Karen, on how you don't wanna get treated as. Yeah, it will be sucking a lot and yes, you are Steam comments page will be fluted with hate comments, but if it, it does mean, mean that you can, can finally understand, understand the pain, pain, which the other players have to go trough just because one of those little confused screamers just that they can play as a killer in a video game, will you probably rather trying to be as cute as me and always write them positive and cute comments after that experience, just because without them couldn't you and your confused screamed, couldn't play any dead by daylight anymore which means you would be going on Twitter and, and turn, turn into, into a, a bigger, bigger confused screamer, screamer, or shit talkers, as I would call them and basically make my life more worser than it is already with hashtag stan twitter it would make you so annoying that even your survive with friends group couldn't handle you any more or worser getting used from one of those idiots and basically ruining your whole life forever or for a long time at least since they are not censoring very well their comments and trust me people are going to say mean shit to you or worse could, could stop your, your contacts. contacts if you have something like facebook or instagram and voila your life was just ruined just because you needed to be a confused screamer in the internet if you don't trust me should you really watch the video where i expose those three douchebags for what they are doing because this was only the little tiny piece of the cake but the point is if you are going to play as a killer would you probably appreciate those more which are letting you leave for once in a while and not taking it granted so if you would play the killer more side would you understand on why i always tell you to stop being such a pain in the ass you will be more appreciative if you would understand the struggle as a killer, but it could also grant you some more friends in the game since you would've been nicer to them, and not being a confused screamer. But you wouldn't even appreciate that more but also probably something else, which a lot of you might not be knowing. Who could've guessed that survivor mains are actually not into the lore in Dead by Daylight, and don't understand how in general the game works, since they didn't wanted to read, or wanted to watch the lore videos out there, because trust me, if you would've just watched some videos about the lore in Dead by Daylight, and the little but cute details it has instead of watching this video garbage, like did you know that this of all what we're playing were just some random, and fucked up memories, and that those people survived from the entity. Yeah, yeah of, course of course you wouldn't, you wouldn't know, know it, it, because you like to confusingly scream more around and shit on the killer for you not understanding the game, because anything else would've mean work, which we all know is not very much liked here in this community, but the point is if you would've played the killer, would've you also need to interact with the killer, with his power which automatically forces you some lore down from the game, which also makes you understanding this whole dead by daylight, universe better, or, or how, how the, the killer, killer is, is working, working in, general. in general, basically the story behind his ability, or how the killer did sudden things in the story, is helping you on how to play this killer in the game since the community is usually only playing one meta currently right now, and that they are not prepared, if you were playing a different strategy from the story. Also it would make you stop crying about how sudden survivors and killers got released since you would understand what usually should be coming next in the next updates from the story. Yeah, I know that some of you my witches will disagreeing, but for me did it also help more on getting away from my Karen era back then in 2017 to 2018. Did it help a lot since I understood on why are sudden things on how they are in the game, and made me rather more excited for an update, than, than for being, being a shithead and, and complaining, complaining about, about shit 24, 24 hours every day. day. Accounts such as nerving or buffing a perk wouldn't basically exist, if they would just read some more of the lore, or watch videos about it, and I think that some of you would also like the game more, as I do currently. But also little fun fact, this is rather more than a small bonus, than a fully flashed act, but did you know that killer players are usually getting more blood points since they are always the last one to leave the round and which are getting reward for basically doing everything but you get also monthly 1 million blood points more since you did play both roles which means more blood points to spend which means also faster p100 progression than you could imagine or more cakes for you as a survivor to spend on since you got more blood points So what did we learn? Well if you are going to play as a killer, will you just get benefits basically, and also unturn your currently Karen mode, my little underrated and iconic confused screamer. We did learn that you could play as a survivor better than after you played killer for a while since you know on why our survivors are getting so much and so fast easily downed, and you might even find new friends. You are also going to learn that survivors and killers are actually pretty good balance, and that we're just trying to find an excuse for our lucid but again, I can only tell you to do it, since it would be helping 
helping you a lot and supports you for the longer run. I know that this video was rather a short one, but I hope that you still enjoyed it. Check out my Discord server and supporting page, and have a great stay here on my channel, goodbye.